Hello children. Well, we are in Geography Chapter 10, India Industries. And we are also in the Bridge Course Class 200. India is a land of agriculture. Agriculture is the main occupation of the country. It, agriculture is very essential. But along with agriculture, industries are also very important because they provide us what agriculture does not provide. They provide us ready-made, manufactured goods. India realized the importance of industries along with agriculture once India became independent and it gave a lot of importance for the growth and development of industries in India. As a result of that, today India stands one among top 10 industrial countries in the world. In this lesson, we are going to read about the meaning and importance of industries and various industries that have been developed after independence. In this chapter we learn about the following meaning and importance of industries, localization of industries, major industrial regions of India, some major industries such as iron and steel, aluminium, cotton textiles, sugar, paper industries and the recent knowledge based industries. Meaning and importance of industries. Many natural resources and raw materials cannot be consumed, cannot be utilized directly. They have to be processed or refined before using them. For example, conversion of sugarcane into sugar, iron ore into steel, cotton into cloth, wood pulp into paper, etc. So, the conversion of raw materials into usable products is known as manufacturing industries. What are manufacturing industries? The conversion of raw materials into usable products, readily usable products is known as manufacturing industries. What is the importance of industries for economic progress? Industries are very vital, very important for economic progress. The development of industries reduces the reliance on primary products, imported goods and helps to increase the national and per capita income and also earn precious foreign exchange. Industries also create job opportunities and raise the gross domestic product GDP and also the living standard of the people. Industries help to reduce the pressure on agriculture. Localization of industries. If we want to establish industries in a certain area, what are the factors to be kept in mind before locating, before localization of certain industries? The location and growth or the localization and growth of industries are influenced by many factors. This is a very important question. This is a three mark question which has already appeared many times in the public examination. Children, please note it. What are the factors required for localization of importance, important industries? The most important factors which influence which affecting the localization of industries are number one supply of raw materials number two supply of power 
थ्री अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कम्युनिकेशन फैसिलिटीज नंबर फोर मार्केट फैसिलिटीज फाइव कैपिटल सिक्स लेबर एंड वाटर सप्लाई सेवन सूटेबल आइडियल क्लाइमेट एंड लास्टली पॉइंट नंबर एट द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दीज आर फैक्टर्स विच इंफ्लुएंस लोकलाइजेशन और लोकेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज इंडिया हैज मेनी इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन्स वेयर इंडस्ट्रीज आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड मेजर इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन्स एन इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन रेफर्स टू रीजन विद कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वन और वेराइटी ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज इट इज डॉमिनेटेड बाई इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इंडस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटीज इट इज यूजली अर्बनाइज इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन्स लोकेटेड इन एरियाज वेर द आइडियल फैक्टर्स फॉर देर लोकेशन आर फोन इन इंडिया देर आर एट मेजर इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन्स again this is a very important three mark question which has appeared number of times in the public examination which are the eight major industrial regions of india they are one the hooghly kolkata region two the mumbai pune region three ahmedabad vadodara region four madurai and coimbatore region five छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू रीजन सिक्स द डेली मीरठ रीजन सेवन विशाखापट्टनम गुंटूर रीजन एंड एट वन कोलम तिरुवनंतपुरम रीजन दीज आर दी एट मेजर इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन्स ऑफ इंडिया मेजर इंडस्ट्रीज ऑफ इंडिया नंबर वन iron and steel industry iron and steel industry is the basis of all other industry many industries like engineering locomotives machine tools automobiles agricultural equipment depend on iron and steel industry it is the most important metal based industry in india Ancient India knew the art of smelting iron ore. The best example for this is the iron pillar in Delhi, Mehroli, which is a standing example for India, ancient India, to show that ancient Indians knew the art of smelting iron ore. The modern iron and steel industry in India was first started at Kalthi in West Bengal in the year 1874. But the credit for modern iron and steel industry goes to Jamshed Ji Nusarwan Ji Tata, J N Tata, who started the Tata Iron and Steel Company in 1907 at Sachi. Jamshedpur which is now called as the industry made great progress after independence under the five year plans which started in the year 1951 efforts were made to develop the iron and steel industry what are the factors required for location of iron and steel industry if an iron and steel industry has to be established what are the factors to be kept in mind number 1 supply of basic raw material that is iron ore second coking coal as a main source of power and hydroelectric power three railway transport and port facilities four plenty of water supply five cheap labor facility sixth capital and local market so these are the factors required for location of iron and steel industry 
producing centers. There are 14 integrated iron and steel plants in India. Of these, 4 are in the private sector and others are in the public sector. It means there are 4 iron and steel industry which are owned and managed by private sector and the remaining are in the public sector that means owned by the government of India. They are as follows. Iron and steel industries in the private sector are the Tata Iron and Steel Company also called Tisco at Sakchi in Jamshedpur in Jharkhand. Second one Zindal Vijaynagar Steel Limited JVSL at Torangallu Ballari district in Karnataka. 3. Spot Iron and Steel Industry Limited at Dolvi, Raigad district in Maharashtra. The fourth one, Tata Steel Plant at Gopalpur in Orissa. These are the four iron and steel industries which are in the private sector. Industries, iron and steel industries in the public sector owned by the government of India. Number one, Indian Iron and Steel Co. ESCO at Burnpur in West Bengal. Second one, Vishweshwaraya Iron and Steel Limited, VISL at Badravati in Karnataka. Third one, Bilai Steel Plant, Durg District in Chhattisgarh. Fourth one, Rorkela Steel Plants, Sundargarh District in Orissa, Durgapur Steel Plant in West Bengal, Sixth one, Bokaro Steel Plants at Bokaro in Jharkhand, Seventh one, the Salem Steel Plant at Salem in Tamil Nadu, Eighth one, the Vishakapatnam Steel Plant, VSP, at Vishakapatnam in Andhra Pradesh, Ninth one, Daitari Steel Plants at Daitari in Orissa. Tenth one, Tata Steel Limited at Kalinganagar in Orissa. These are the iron and steel industries in the public sector that is owned by the government of India. In addition, there are 199 mini steel plants set up in different parts of the country. India is the 8th largest steel producing country in the world. Aluminium Industries Distribution Aluminium industry is the second important metal based industry in India. It was started in 1942 at Jaikai Nagar in West Bengal. Now there are nine major aluminium plants in the country. They are at Jaikai Nagar in West Bengal, Alupuram in Kerala, Mittur in Tamil Nadu, Bilagavi in Karnataka, Hirakud at Damajodi in Orissa, Renukut in Uttar Pradesh, Korba in Chhattisgarh and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. India has the seventh place Sorry, India has the 11th place in the world for the production of aluminium products. India import aluminium to meet its local demands. Cotton textile industry Cotton textile industry is the biggest and the most important branch of textile industry in India. It is the most important agro-based industry. Cotton cloth making was known to Indians since a long time. It means Indians knew cotton cloth making since a long time. But it was confined to only hand looms. The first modern cotton textile industry was started in 1854 when a cotton mill, modern cotton mill, was set up at Mumbai. 
After that, the industry made rapid progress and more mills were established. Now, India ranks second in the world in respect of cotton fabrics production next to China. Also, India is the second largest exporter of cotton textiles. The location of cotton textile industry is governed by the supply of raw cotton, power, vast market, capital, skilled labor and humid climate. Students, please make a note. This can also be a very important public examination question. What are the factors required for, essential for, location of cotton textile industry? The location of cotton textile industry is influenced or governed by supply of raw cotton, supply of power, availability of vast market, availability of capital, skilled labor and humid climate. These are the factors which influence the location of cotton textile industry in India. Distribution Cotton textile industry is widely distributed over more than 76 towns and cities of India. However, it is concentrated mainly in the cotton growing areas that is Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana. Among them, Maharashtra and Gujarat are the leading manufacturers of cotton textiles. Mumbai is the most popular center for cotton textile industry. Which is the most popular center for cotton textile industry? Mumbai. Therefore, Mumbai is known as Cottonopolis of India and Manchester of India. Which city is known as the Cottonopolis of India? Mumbai. Which city is known as the Manchester of India? Mumbai. Why Mumbai is known as the Cottonopolis of India or Manchester of India? Because Mumbai is the most popular center for cotton textile industry in India. Sugar industry Sugar industry it is the second important agro-based industry in India, next only to cotton textiles. Agro-based industries are those industries which depend on agriculture for their raw material. Cotton is also an agro-based industry and sugar industry is also an agro-based industry which depends on agriculture for its raw material. Therefore, it is also an agro-based industry. The art of sugar making was known to the Indians, but it was confined to preparing good or khandasari. Good means jaggery, khandasari means candy sugar. The modern sugar mills were started in the beginning of 20th century, but Sugar industry made rapid progress only after independence. Which are the factors essential for establishment of sugar industry? So this can be an important question. Which are the factors required for sugar industry? Establishment of sugar industry. Supply of sugarcane. Sugarcane is the main raw material. Cheap and efficient transport facilities. Government encouragement. Availability of market and capital are the main factors 
for the location of sugar industry. Distribution of sugar industries. The sugar industry is concentrated in usually sugarcane growing areas such as Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Punjab, Haryana, Bihar and Orissa. India is the second largest producer of sugar in the world next only to Brazil. Brazil is the largest producer of sugar in the world and India ranks second. Here is an extra information. Do you know the byproducts of sugar industry are after extraction of sugar, whatever remains, they also become raw material for manufacture of various products. So they are known as the byproducts of sugar industry. There are two byproducts of sugar industry. One is molasses, second one is bagasse. Molasses is the uncrystallized syrup extracted from raw sugar during refining and it is used in the preparation of alcoholic drinks and manure. Bagasse Bagasse is crushed stems of sugar cane. When we crush the sugar cane and extract the juice, so whatever crushed the stem part remains, that is called bagasse, which can be used for the manufacture of paper and as also fuel. Paper industry Paper is an indispensable and useful product. You know, as a student, we know how important paper is. Paper is used for many purposes such as writing, wrapping, packing, printing, etc. Education and literacy level in a country are measured by the consumption of paper in that country. Here there can be a very important one more question. How do we measure the education literacy level of people in a country? We can measure the education and literacy level in a country when we take into account the consumption, total consumption of paper in that country. Only people who are literate, who are getting educated, uh, use only paper. An illiterate country, a country with the least literacy, they don't use any paper. Therefore, education and literacy level in a country are measured by the consumption of paper in that country. The art of paper making was introduced in India during the 10th century. That means as early as 10th century, we knew the art of paper making, but it was a cottage industry. The first modern paper mill was set up in 1932 at a place called Serampur in West Bengal, but it was a failure. The real beginning, the real start of modern paper was made in a mill in 1870 at a place called Bali near Calcutta. However, the industry made rapid progress during the world wars and after independence. Paper industry is a forest based industry. What are the raw materials which are used in the manufacture of paper? The raw materials used in this industry are soft wood like bamboo, cellulosic pulp, grasses like sabai and marble. 
but due to lack of forest based raw material now we have very good awareness that we must save forest we should not use forest products we must not cut trees therefore due to lack of forest based raw material nowadays we make use of straw of paddy wheat bagase that is the by product of sugar industry cotton lints and rags these are being used now as raw materials here also there can be a question what are the raw materials used for the manufacture of paper other than these raw materials besides plenty of water vast market supply of cheap labor transport facilities power and some chemicals are the other factors required for location of paper industry distribution of paper industries in india earlier paper industry of india was developed in hooghly basin of west bengal hooghly river basin of west bengal now paper industry is highly concentrated in maharashtra gujarat uttar pradesh tamil nadu andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and orissa in india at present the production of paper is just not sufficient to meet its local growing requirement therefore so india has to import paper to meet its growing demand so india has to import paper from other countries the recently developed industries in india is the knowledge based industry these are knowledge based industry neither agricultural based agricultural based chemical based or forest based these industries are purely knowledge based industries these industries depend on human knowledge therefore they are called knowledge based industry the term knowledge based industries usually refer to those industries which are relatively intensive in their inputs of technology and human knowledge these industries require intellectual capabilities rather than any physical inputs or raw materials the development of knowledge based industry has become a powerful tool of socio economic change in our country india has the potential to become a leading knowledge based industry with its young population and growing information technology so at present it is very rapidly developing industry in our country information technology it is the key knowledge based industry information technology is the key knowledge based industry which are the two main components of information technology industry the two main components are software and hardware the software industry is supported by both state and central government of india in order to encouraging the industry many software technology parks stp were established by the government in 1995 in different parts of the country however the industry is mainly developed in 
southern states such as Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Telangana. Karnataka has proudly achieved a great name in software industry. Several information technology institutions have been established and concentrated in Bengaluru, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Delhi and Noida. Among all these cities and towns, Bengaluru is the most important center for Indian software industry and therefore Bengaluru is very rightly called Silicon Valley of India. Bengaluru is very popularly called the Silicon Valley of India. Besides Bangalore, Mysore, Mangaluru, Udupi and Hubballi are other centers for software in Karnataka. Side by side, hardware, hardware industry has also developed in our country. Software has become an important item of export in India and it earns a large amount of foreign exchange for our country. Students, that is all in the lesson known as industry. And let us see what is the assignment for today. Question number one. Explain how the industries help in the economic development of a country. Three marks question appeared in March 2019 examination. Question number two. Which are the factors required for the location of iron and steel industry? Three marks, June 2019. Question number three. Mention the factors that influence the location of industries. Three marks, April 2020. Question number four. Majority of iron and steel industries are located in Odisha and West Bengal regions. Why? Three mark question, September 2020. Question number five. Why is Mumbai the most important cotton textile industrial center even today? A three mark question. It is there in the model paper one. So these are the five important questions for today's assignment. And students, that is all for today. We will come up with another fresh lesson in our next period. Till such time we meet again. Take care of yourself. Have a